Right, you join me now for the next one, even though my fucking camera's fucked. It's all over the place. Right. Um, I am looking for somebody with a defense. Where is it? You're telling me there's no fucks. Uh, have I been past it or something and not fucking noticed? Um, marking. Stand tackle. Let's go for marking. Uh, a minimum of attribute. No, because, yeah. Fuck it. For marking of 85. Your search was too broad. I'll bet. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, I know Vidic is very good, but it'll cost me about fucking 30, 35 million, and I'm not pissing about doing that. Um, I'm looking for a younger one. Peak here. I know that defenders usually peak between 29 and 31. So, PK is definitely one for the future to think about buying. Well, like I said, it's going to cost me 35, 40 million, 25 million for Barcelona as well. It's even if he wants to join me or not. The wage might not be there. Um, Sanya. Nah. <laughs> nah. Uh, Raul Albiol. Slightly cheaper at 20 million. Rated 82 for a centre back. Not bad. 25. Ezequiel Garay. Is it Ezequiel? I don't know. I can't remember. Injury prone. So that makes him out. It's totally out the window. There's no way I'm going to buy an injury prone player. Douglas. A hell of a lot cheaper. Yeah, he's 79 rated, but he is young. Power header trait is six foot four, so that means should surely means his heading's good. Heading accuracy of eighty. You know, he's jumping eighty four, yes, it's very good. Could be one. Let me write that down actually. Douglas centre back. Right. Let's continue looking. They're all a bit young here. Here we go. Who is this bloke? I've never heard of him in my life, but it's worth 10.8 million. His jumping's 82. And in accuracy, is 81. He's got no traits, no specialities. But like I said, his jumping's good. But the one who has it for me is Douglas there. Look, it's, it's, it do not cost as much. Um, as obviously his wage won't be as much and he's a young one he's only 79 rated and he's definitely one for the future but that's for the centre back anyway right let's go back to overall of 85 I doubt there will be one but let's have a look for a defence and a right back Sergio Ramos might come up here, I've got a feeling. Um, I'm not sure about any other right backs. No, they're not. Fair enough. 80 goes down to. Sergio Ramos will definitely pop up here. Along with Bakary Sanya and uh, Arbeloa, but Arbeloa's already been at uh, Liverpool. I don't want to bring him back. Not after the, the uh, spat that him and Carragher had on the field when they were playing that one. So I laughed my fucking ass off when that happened. Him and Carragher started arguing by themselves and they were fighting between them. It was amazing. Right, Sergio Ram, 25.5 million. This team is going to cost me, I tell you. Let me put him down as well. Sergio Ramos is a right back. Neymar is definitely one for a centre forward, uh, for a striker. 
Um, I've got Wesley Snyder and I've got Stevie G in the middle. And to be honest, I've got Rodders coming through as well for Stevie G when he gets old. And you know, I've got a few p different players there. I've got Shabalala on the left as well as Ashley Young on the left. I've got Theo Walcott on the right as well as Joe Cole as well as Dirk Cow as well as God knows how many people. I don't need anybody in the midfield to be quite honest unless it's going to be a mega mega signing and I mean mega signing it's got to be either left wing or right wing uh, left mid or right mid and the only people that I would consider buying is Cristiano Ronaldo to be quite honest on that right on the right mid even though I do not want to buy him because he's a cunt I can't stand him um, that's the only type of person I'd buy but definitely Neymar is one for a forward um, like I said I would have had a look at the people that you said but unfortunately I've gone offline I did plan to do this tonight but unfortunately the internet's gone off on me so I'm fucked to be quite honest tonight but I will definitely take a look at some point uh, join me for another video in this series, the Tough Man Takes a Look, and I'll take a look at all of your game, uh, of all the, your people that you've suggested I take a look at.